What's up everybody out there watching this? Justin here. Follow me on Twitter if you like at TNA WWE Guy. Also, you can follow me at NXT WWE Guy. This video is a new year in wrestling. 2013 Part 3. This is the year in wrestling 2013 Part 3. So here we go. Kicked off with... Well, I, I finished talking about SummerSlam, I believe. Talk about TNA pay-per-views, WWE pay-per-views, and uh, some Ring of Honor also. So, after SummerSlam was the Night of Champions 2013. The pre-show match was primetime players defeating... And last in a tag team turmoil match for the WWE tag titles. Primetime players Darren Young, Titus O'Neil defeated the last team, the Real Americans, Antonio Cesaro, and Jack Swagger with Zeb Coulter. I forgot about the Real Americans. They were a pretty fantastic, pretty damn good tag team for the short time they were together for, I don't know, a couple months. Or they, I think they were still even together at uh, WrestleMania 30 in 2014. So now the main event matches for Night of Champions. I'm not going to run down every match because that would take too long and it would be pretty boring. So I'm going to just talk about the main events. For the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, Rob Van Dam defeated... He defeated... Alberto Del Rio by disqualification, so Del Rio retains by DQ. But Rob Van Dam won the match. For the WWE Championship, Daniel Bryan was challenging Randy Orton, who was the champion. Randy Orton wins and defeats Daniel Bryan also. We had the tag team titles on the line. The Shield... The champion Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns defeated the primetime players. Because the primetime players won tag team turmoil in the pre-show. So they went to the pay-per-view to get the tag title shot and they lost to the Shield. Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns were tag champs. So that was WWE Night of Champions. From what I remember from it, it was a decent pay-per-view. It wasn't bad. Now I'm going to go on to Battleground. And going back to four pay-per-views in a row, we saw Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton. Battleground. The pre-show kicked off with Dolph Ziggler defeating Damian Sandow. Uh, those matches and their feud got pretty old. For the WWE... World Heavyweight Championship main event Alberto Del Rio the champion defeated Rob Van Dam again but this time it was a hardcore match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship Alberto Del Rio retains again so good for Alberto now for the WWE Championship first we saw the Rhodes Brothers Cody Rhodes and Goldust. They were with Dusty Rhodes, their father. This was a great tag match for the tag titles. Since Cody and Dustin Rhodes won, they were reinstated by the WWE. If the Shield would have won, Dusty would have lost his job as NXT trainer. And the Rhodes family would have been terminated from WWE if the Rhodes brothers lost. But they won, and they defeated Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. They were with Dean Ambrose, and the Rhodes brothers were with their father, Dusty Rhodes. The late, great, legendary American dream, Dusty Rhodes. It was great to see Cody and Goldust win the tag titles. They would hold on to them for a pretty long time. At least a couple months, I think. They were good tag champs, were Cody and Goldust. Uh, the crowd really popped, really marked out when Cody and Goldust won the tag titles. It was a great moment at uh, Battleground 2013. I believe it was the first ever Battleground 
was in 2013. Battleground 2016 is actually on the day of my birthday. So that will be fun to watch it on my birthday. Main event was for the WWE Championship. Also we had CM Punk defeat Ryback. Ryback was with Paul Heyman for some reason. I don't know why they put Ryback with Paul Heyman. I guess to get him over as a heel. But it didn't work. It was stupid. It was weird. They even cut a promo together where Ryback ended up, or Paul Heyman ended up kissing Ryback on the cheek. That was weird. Main event was Daniel Bryan going against Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. The match ended in a no contest. So that is Battleground 2013. Pretty damn good show because the Rhodes brothers won the tag titles. Now I'm going to talk about the second pay-per-view in October of 2013, which was held in a cell. Uh, the pre-show match was uh, Damian Sandow defeating Kofi Kingston. Nobody cared. Main event was one of the main events for the World Heavyweight Championship. John Cena defeated Alberto Del Rio, so John Cena won his 10th. 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th world title, whatever, how many he won in 13. Or whatever the number was up to. John Cena becomes a world champion again. Other matches, or the main event was, again, we had a tag team title match with Cody and Goldust defeating The Shield, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, and The Usos in a triple threat for the tag titles. That was a good match. Main event, Randy Orton defeated Daniel Bryan again. Again, they had a one-on-one -on -one match on pay-per-view. I think this was a fifth, fourth or fifth pay-per-view in a row. Randy Orton took on Daniel Bryan. It was enough already. And Daniel Bryan could not win the big one yet until WrestleMania 30. It was a Hell in a Cell match for the vacated WWE Championship was vacated. Shawn Michaels was the guest referee. Shawn Michaels had a lot of history with Daniel Bryan because he trained him. But Randy Orton wins and defeats Daniel Bryan in the Hell in a Cell. And we didn't have any other Hell... Or we did have another Hell in a Cell match. CM Punk, two-on-one, handicapped Hell in a Cell match. CM Punk defeated Ryback and Paul Heyman. Uh, I do remember this match and getting excited about seeing CM Punk beat Paul Heyman's ass. I think he did end up beating him with a Singapore cane on top of the cell. Or maybe Punk was beat with a Singapore cane. I don't really remember because 2013 was a long time ago. And since 2013, I probably have seen a thousand other wrestling shows. So now I'm going to talk about Survivor Series 2013, which took place from the great city of Boston. Great wrestling fans in Boston. I love Boston. Great city, great passionate, hardcore WWE fans there. Pre-show match was The Miz defeating Kofi Kingston. Again, nobody cared. Up first... On the pay-per-view was a traditional Survivor Series elimination match. We had The Shield, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns. They debuted at the 2012 Survivor Series. So now The Shield is back. It's their one-year anniversary in the WWE. The Shield and the Real Americans defeated the team of Cody Rhodes, Goldust, The Usos, and Rey Mysterio. Pretty good Elimination Survivor Series Tag Match. For the Intercontinental Championship, Big E Langston, he was the Intercontinental Champion at the time, defeated Curtis Axel in a traditional Survivor Series Elimination Match. Total Divas, a team of the Total Divas, Natalia, the Bella Twins, the Funkadactyls, JoJo, for some reason, I don't know why they had JoJo ever wrestle. Because she was no good. Eva Marie was also no good and not ready in, in 2013. But they put JoJo and Eva Marie on Team Total Divas. 
Team Total Divas defeated the team of the True Divas, AJ Lee, Tamina, Caitlin, Alicia Fox, Summer Rae, Rosa Mendez, and Asana. So, it wasn't a very good Divas elimination tag. It just wasn't. It was very sloppy, a lot of botches, it was not good. Mark Henry defeated Ryback on the pay-per-view, nobody cared. John Cena defended the World Heavyweight Championship and defeated Alberto Del Rio. Nobody really cared about their feud. At least I didn't. I was bored by Cena versus Del Rio. Tag team matchup. This was pretty damn good shit. CM Punk and Daniel Bryan defeated the Wyatt, Wyatt family. Luke Harper and Eric Rowan with Bray Wyatt. That was good. Punk and Bryan made a great team. Against the Wyatts. Main event was pretty damn lame. For the WWE Championship, Randy Orton defended. Nothing against Randy Orton. I'm a fan of the guy. But I'm not a fan of the Big Show. And I'm not a fan of Orton versus the Big Show ever. Randy Orton defending the WWE Championship defeated the Big Show. Thank God Big Show didn't win. That was Survivor Series 2013. Pretty good pay-per-view. Not all, not every match was good, but it was good enough. Now on to TLC 2013. The final pay-per-view of 2013 for WWE. Pre-show match was Fandango with Summer Rae defeating Dolph Ziggler. Main event for the World Heavyweight Championship and WWE Championship. It was a tables, ladders, chairs match. To unify the World Heavyweight Championship and WWE Championship. So both titles would be unified. Randy Orton, this was a pretty good TLC match. Pretty entertaining, pretty good match. Orton and Cena, in their careers in the WWE, they, they both have had a pretty damn good rivalry. And a pretty good feud. Randy Orton, the WWE Champion, defeated John Cena, the World Heavyweight Champion. I believe there was interference. I don't remember how and who interfered, but I believe there was interference. So that is TLC. 2013, pretty good pay-per-view. Also, other matches in a three-on-one handicap match. CM Punk actually defeated the entire Shield. CM Punk defeated the Shield, Ambrose, Rollins, and Reigns. That was pretty good. Also in a Fatal 4-Way for the tag titles, which was also pretty good. Cody Rhodes and Goldust, the tag champs, defeated Ryback and Curtis Axel. I believe they're called Ry, Ry Axel or something like that. They also defeated Big Show and Rey Mysterio, and they defeated the Real Americans. So TLC 2013, in my opinion, was a bit better than uh, Survivor Series. So now I'm going to talk about TNA pay-per-views. And TNA's Bound for Glory 2013, which was the last TNA pay-per-view of 2013, I believe. Up first, it was on the kickoff or pre-show of Bound for Glory 2013. It was a tag team gauntlet match for the TNA tag team titles. The winner of the match would later get a tag title shot. The Bromance, Robbie E. and Jesse Goddard defeated Chavo Guerrero and Hernandez. And they also defeated Bad Influence, Bad Influence, Christopher Daniels and Kazarian. And they also defeated Eric Young and Joseph Park. So the Bromans would get the tag title shot later in at Bound for Glory. Now on to the pay-per-view matches. Ultimate X match for the TNA X Division Championship. Chris Sabin with Velvet Sky, who was his girlfriend at the time. Chris Sabin was dating Velvet Sky. Now I believe Bully Ray is dating Velvet Sky. Good for him. Velvet Sky is sexy as hell. So good for Bully Ray. I hope they're happy together. Chris Sabin, the champion, or Chris Sabin, the challenger, defeated Man Manic, who was the X Division champion. Manic is TJ Perkins. He will be in the Cruiserweight Classic for the WWE. Will Manic. 
Also in the match was Austin Aries, G Jeff Hardy, and Samoa Joe. They were all in Ultimate X. It was a pretty good X Ultimate X match for the X Division Championship. Chris Saban wins the X Division title. Now on to the tag title match. The Bromans defeated Gunner and James Storm to win the TNA tag titles. In a three-way match for the TNA Knockouts title, Gail Kim defeated ODB and Brooke. Brooke Teskmacher, not or Brooke Adams, not Brooke Hogan. So Gail Kim becomes probably a four or five time knockouts champion at the time. In a pretty damn good match, Bobby Roode defeated Kurt Angle. They had a great match. It went 20 minutes. Or went almost 21 minutes. Another good match. EC3 making his Bound for Glory debut. Ethan Carter, the third, defeated Norm Foreman. I don't know who Norm Foreman was. I think he was a job guy that TNA hired for some reason. Or they used them a couple of times on Impact, Norm, Foreman, and then they never used them again. Magnus defeated Sting. That was a damn good match. And entertaining. And the main event was a no disqualification match for the TNA World title. AJ Styles defeated the TNA World Champion Bully Ray. Bully Ray was with Brooke Adams at the time. As his manager, and I believe they he's still in Aces of Eights and the leader of Aces and Eights. But AJ Styles defeated Bully Ray and won the TNA World Title. I was really happy for AJ. So that was TNA Bound for Glory 2013. I don't think they had any more pay-per-views. Bound for Glory was their last pay-per-view of 2013 because in 2013, TNA only did four pay-per-views. Because they cut way down after 2012. TNA didn't do every month pay-per-views. They still do pay-per-views every month. But they're one night only pay-per-views. So now I'm going to talk about Ring of Honor. 2013 pay-per-views. Or I last uh, talked about Ring of Honor's. I believe it was. Which show was it? Death, I last talked about Death Before Dishonor 11, which was in September of 2013. Now I'm going to talk about Final Battle 2013, which took place in December. The final Ring of Honor pay-per-view of 2013, I believe it was, I think it was on pay-per-view. It might have been on internet pay-per-view, I'm not sure. Anyways, here we go with Final Battle 2013. Matt Hardy defeated Adam Page. Up next, Silas Young defeated Mark Briscoe in a strap match. The Young Bucks, Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson defeated Adrenaline Rush, ACH, and T T Deer. I don't know the guy's name. ACH and Thomas. I can't pronounce the guy's name. I don't know why. That's for the uh, that was a tag team match. It wasn't for any tag titles. Young Bucks win. Up next, we had a stretcher match. Loser must stop using the power driver. Stretcher match. Kevin Steen, who is Kevin Owens. Kevin Steen defeated Michael Bennett, and Michael Bennett was with Maria. Tag team match for the Ring of Honor tag team titles. Red Dragon, Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly defeated. Outlaw Inc., Eddie Kingston, and Homicide. So Red Dragon retained the tag titles. Red Dragon, the time they were together, when I saw them together, they were a pretty damn good team. Up next, a singles match for the Ring of Honor TV title. Tommaso Ciampa defeated Matt Taven, who was the TV champion. Matt Taven is with Truth Martini. And the hop of the Hop Along Hotties, whatever their name was. They were like two pretty hot chicks that would come down with Truth Martini and Matt Taven. Tommaso Ciampa wins, becomes the new Ring of Honor television champion. Now Tommaso Ciampa, Kevin Steen, are doing good things in WWE. 
Tommaso Ciampa is in NXT, signed to a contract. I believe uh, Tommaso Ciampa also can work indie still when he's in NXT. He's allowed to work some independents. Tag team match was up next. BJ Whitmore and Eddie Edwards defeated Jay Lethal and Roderick Strong. That was a good tag match. Main event was a three-way for the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship. Adam Cole, the Ring of Honor World Champion at the time. Adam Cole defended against Michael Elgin and Jay Briscoe, and it was a damn good three-way. Winner... Still Ring of Honor World Champion, Adam Cole, baby. So Adam Cole retained the Ring of Honor World title. Going into 2014, he would still be Ring of Honor World Champ. I think for a while. So that was Final Battle 2013. Pretty good show. A lot of good matches on it. This ends my year in wrestling 2013. Videos. I'll start... I'll have another one tomorrow. Year in Wrestling 2014 Part 1. So check out my playlist. My Year in Wrestling playlist. My WWE Network. Pay-Per-View playlist. My Raw playlist. TNA playlist. Uh, NXT playlist. Ring of Honor pay-per-view. Predictions and review playlist. What else? Fantasy Booking. Check out that playlist. I've done a lot of videos that are in playlists. Check out my countdown videos in playlists. Hope you enjoyed this video. Follow me on Twitter. Again, at TNAWWEGuy and at NXTWWEGuy. Subscribe to my YouTube if you don't already. Subscribe to my YouTube. This was a year in wrestling 2013 part 3. Next video will be me talking about 2014. Hope you enjoyed. The Year in Wrestling 2013 Part 3. Bye for now, everybody.